So many of these videos start with me sat here on this couch, but, um, oh, and with Boo on my shoulder. But I may have in a weaker moment ordered myself a little treat. So um, that there, it's, yeah, it's not a tiny package, but it's, you know, there's something to it. But that there is a um, Nature Hike um, hammock. It's basically, it's a cheap knockoff of the Hennessy hammocks. So um, yeah, guess what I'm going to do now? And that's Boo's ass. Yeah, Boo just put her ass on the camera. Nice. And I've just rushed down the park because I really need to test out my new toy, so I'm gonna get it uh, pitched up dead quick. And so there it is then, the first pitch in what I would call fairly tolerable conditions. There's a slight breeze, nothing crazy. Um, I'm impressed with this bug net. Look at this, you've got a ridge pole that goes all the way over. So it holds the bug net off your face. Right then, woke up this morning craving an adventure. See that sign up there? That's the sound for the Trans Penan Trail. The old train platform here that's completely overgrown, which is kind of sick. Nice. Been a nice easy walk so far. It's like pretty much been bolt straight, because like I say, it's an old train line, so really flat, really straight. I couldn't have asked for it to be any easier, actually. Um, it's been a bit waterlogged. I'm dodging a fair few dog poos, but <laughs> it's been a nice day. So thankful for good boots. So I've brewed myself up a coffee on the trusty old jet boil, and um, I'm just going to sit here, chill, get very British with it, and have a biscuit because, hey, it's the way you got to do it. And this is the home stretch now, the last little bit of the Penan Trail. Six hours later, it's been a long walk, but by the sea. to pass the way to camp now. The tide's coming in really high, so I don't think I'm going to be camping by the beach. So I'm leaving all the houses behind me, and I've just got on to Hauntimere. <sighs> that has been a long day. It's about half past nine now, probably even getting close to 10 o'clock, and I've only just got into the hammock. Um, couldn't find anywhere decent to um, sling down in Haunty. It's like I was going to um, sleep on the beach. Nah, it's like tad was in too high, um, wasn't worth the risk. Um, was going to camp on um, Haunty Mere. Nah, not a chance. There was just nowhere that was suitable that was like hidden away. And I didn't want to get pitched up and then get moved on. So what I did was hit the trail back in reverse and started walking back towards Hull and um, stopped off in one of the little forests. Now, I've got my bivy kit with me and I was quite happy to just sling down on the ground and bivy on the ground. But absolutely waterlogged like everywhere it's like um it's just a huge bog and um that's the real beauty of having a hammock with you so i got my hammock up pitched it between two trees and even though it's like waterlogged and it's a bog underneath me i'm up hanging dry and um yeah this is pretty nice <sighs> morning world well that was a really um comfortable night's sleep really enjoyed that best thing about this by far is the fact that it just comes as an all-in-one unit then you um, clip it to the tree one side, clip it to the tree the other side, undo the snake skin, and boom, you've got your bed ready. Um, it's not as big or as luxuriant as my um, Demera Slacker. Like, I did miss that last night just because I'm a big chap and it's nice having a big uh, hammock. But despite that, you can see here, there's still plenty of room. I'm, uh, I'm not struggling to uh, stretch out, and no, it's just a really comfortable hammock. Oh, really nice and sheltered as well. It did rain a bit through the night, so uh, none of that came through to me. I'm still burn dry. There you go. Can you see how wet and um, horrible it is down here? I would not want to be bivying on the ground. Got to the top, and it's actually got ice on it this morning. Like... So yeah, it was a pretty horrible night, but it really looked after us. 
So back on the trail now. Packed up dead quickly um, and to bloody freezing, that's why I've got the gloves on. Um, packing the tarp away when it's um, covered in ice. That's not a lot of fun. About a three hour walk back home through fog and ice and far too many puddles. Thanks for watching guys.